Hey traders, I hope everybody's going well. Welcome to another live stream where I'm going to be going through the David Tech bot on how to connect your trading view strategies over uh, to Bybit and eventually going to be adding things like Binance and FTX and other exchanges in the near future. So uh, I'm going to get straight over to the computer. It's going to be very, very quick. This has been streamed directly to Twitch and then I'm going to be recording it at the same time so we can edit to YouTube to my second channel. Uh, so you can come back and look at it as well. So if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them down in the uh, in the questions or in the uh, comment section and I'll get over to the explaining. Okay, so as I said, uh, just very quickly, disclaimer, obviously I'm not in the slightest a trading expert or guru or whatever you like to call it. Just going through, this isn't advice in the slightest. I'm not telling you how to trade or anything like that. Just trying to find and build tools that would help us all to use algorithms to help us to trade better, but not in the slightest. Any just educational material as such, as everybody says. Anyway, right over to uh, the three windows I have up here. I have trading view, uh, trading view, and uh, buy a bit open. As you can see, I'm on a sub account with a small amount of money, which I suggest that everybody should do when using algorithms. You never know what could happen, especially when you're away from your computer, as all of this is automatic. Just be a little bit more uh, careful. I always put a small amount of money on a sub account and then I generate my IPs off of that, uh, APIs, sorry, off of that sub account, just to be that little bit more careful. So as I said, uh, we're uh, gonna be connecting this uh, trading view strategy, which is by myself, a David Tech uh, tr uh, trading strategy. This is just the boilerplate. Uh, you can connect any of the David Tech uh, strategies. You can also use David Tech to connect other indicators like Market Cipher, Market Liberator, or any of those ones as well. I will do a video about how to do that as well. It's pretty simple, but I'm gonna go through this today because like I said, there's a bit of confusion. I need to get it all sorted out. I also have another browser open, which is uh, the David Tech website. Uh, if you just bear with me two seconds here. I have the David Tech website open as well. Uh, to log in, you need to click on this avatar at the top here. And then we're going to be looking at David Tech bots, which are in beta. Click on that in this avatar, that there. And then we're going to go over to generate uh, API generator for variable bots or David Tech strategies. We're going to click create a David Tech bot. This is gonna bring up this uh, window and there really isn't much on this window that's important to us at the moment. Uh, what's important is this copy webhook URL, which we'll be using afterwards. Uh, the rest is pretty much all generated by the actual trading strategy itself. Uh, so we'll come back to this page afterwards. So, right, we're gonna be on the trading view. So I'm gonna click on the cog up the top here and that's going to uh, the inputs and that's we're going to scroll right the way down to the bottom where we'll find the API and the David Tech bot. I already have a couple of APIs set up here, uh, but the uh, but I'm going to empty all of that and we're going to restart. So you're going to need to check the use David Tech bot here, which has a blue check button uh, to click that. And then we're going to choose the live uh, and not the test net. I do suggest that you test all your trading strategies on the David Tech forwarding uh, testing platform or uh, using the buy a bit uh, do both, it doesn't cost anything, do both, uh, the type buy a bit, test net as well. Uh, you also have, uh, then the next option is setting the amount of portfolio you want to use each time. You do have to remember that leverage is set by the trading strategy as well, so uh, be careful with that. Uh, there's a leverage uh, setting up here, uh, just above here, where is leverage, we've got portfolio, and leverage here, so that will set the leverage as well. I'm currently on one X leverage, which is fine. Uh, then I scroll back down, and then we're gonna be looking at our margin and how much we want to take of our portfolio before adding leverage. Uh, I'm gonna put my percentage of portfolio. You can also use a USD amount, uh, which will allow us to take like 25 USDT and uh, use that or whatever you want to add as a fixed amount. We have strategy based as well, uh, which is currently being developed. So I will uh, post an update about that in the near future. So next thing we need to do is give it a value. Uh, the value I put in there, that's gonna take 25% of my 
portfolio. I think there's a couple of hundred dollars on this account. Uh, so it's going to take 25% of my portfolio to put that into, uh, into each trade. And then we're going to need to create API keys. API keys are like your username and password uh, for, uh, for Bybit. Now, it's not adding your username and password. You're creating a secret key on the, on the, on the Bybit uh, so that they can uh, connect TradingView directly to their uh, system. So we're going to go over and generate those. We click up here on the tab, and we're going to go over to the uh, David, uh, to the avatar up the top here, and we're going to click on API. All we need to do is create a new API. So we click on the orange button just on the side here, and we're going to give the API a name. So we're going to call it David Tech API. You can call it whatever you like. Now there is also a David Tick in the connect to third party applications here, but unfortunately uh, we have a <coughs> two IP addresses and only one of them are uh, connected currently to Bybit. So I personally would think it's best to come over to here and do API transactions, and <coughs> excuse me, and that way you get the best of uh, the, the David Tick and use the fastest servers. Uh, so I'm going to give it a name of David Tick API. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to leave that as is. We can click the top button, which will check all of them. Uh, we don't need the wallet access with, for account transfers. That uh, obviously would not be the best thing in the world to do. So we don't need that. And then we're going to authorize the API, uh, the uh, IP address for the uh, server. I'm now going to click on Discord and open Discord so that you can, uh, I can show you where you can find the IP address. Let's take a couple of seconds. Sorry about this. Okay, let me go over to So if you go over to uh, the David Tick uh, David Tick discord and click what's new uh, You'll be able to scroll up and find these images here and just above that is the IP address This is the IP address that you need to uh, whitelist on David Tick so you click there like that as you can see, that is per, uh, that will just allow us to whitelist the server where the David Tick bot is actually installed. I'm going to press submit, and then it's going to ask us to uh, give us a, a two-factor authentication from Google, which you would have set up yourselves. Uh, just going to let that one expire, and then I'm going to enter that there. Okay, we got that there like this. And that allows us to confirm and create our API codes. So we have our API key, API secrets, and the list of the permissions we did down here. We're going to copy those one by one, copy, and go back to uh, the trading view strategy. Then we're going to paste them just like that. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to have to go back and do it again uh, over here. And then scroll back down. Sorry about this. Okay, so my API key, I'm going to paste into there like that, and then I'm going to go back to buy bit, and then press the API secret, and we're going to pop the pop the API secret into this one just here. Next things we need to do is uh, you need to decide whether you're going to be using the API encryptor. That's another feature on the, the website. I won't go through it now because it takes a little bit of time. It just adds an extra layer of security to the API secrets, uh, which I will show you a little bit later on how to, uh, on another uh, video on how to use that as it's another tool, uh, which just, like I said, gives a little bit more security. I'm all trying to get everything uh, personally, I like as much security myself, uh, so I try to put as much security as I possibly can into everything that I'm building. Okay, then we have the order type, which is market or limit, and then you have an exit type, which is market or limit. I'm going to leave it on market and limit as the, the options. Market for entry, exit is going to be limit. The reason being is, is I want to get an entry as fast as possible to uh, show everybody how this works. And then it's requesting a Discord ID and an email address. Now the email address is pretty simple. We go back over to the David Tech website. We go up to the top up here and then we click edit profile. 
and it would be just the email address that you set up uh, when you were uh, uh, signing up for David Tech uh, or the Patreon account. You copy and you paste that just like that in there. I'm going to leave that one as it is, uh, but you would add uh, hello at david.me or your email address, which is on David Tech's website. Uh, next thing you do is add your uh, Discord ID. Now, the Discord ID is a little bit more uh, uh, complicated if you will uh, to build or to set up but it's pretty simple really so I'm just going to go and show you how to do that now what you need to do is you need to set up your uh, the, the so what you need to do is you need to go over to discord open up discord and this little chap over in the corner over here is the David Tech debug bot it allows you to uh, receive messages of when you receive new trades, uh, when there's a problem, like for instance, there's not enough money in USDT or enough margin or whatever, uh, you'll get a message from your trading view alert saying, uh, here is what the problem is, or here you have a new trade, here's the stop loss, here's the take profits, and all the information that you need just sent to you directly by direct message on, uh, on the Discord. Okay, to set this up, what we need to do is we need to go over to the cog over here. And then we can go over to our uh, devices, uh, uh, down to uh, advanced just here. And we click developer mode and we turn that on, which allows us to go and find our uh, ID. Now you need to find a message with your name on it and then you right mouse click and press copy ID and that will copy an ID into your de into your uh, 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 pasteboard. And then we go back over to Discord ID and we're going to go and paste that on there just like that using Control V on your keyboard or Command V if you're on a Mac and then we are ready to go. So that's perfect. We're absolutely if the, everything is configured now you will now receive messages from uh, the, the from the alerts so the next thing we need to do is set up the alerts now what the alerts do is as soon as a trade is uh, is activated on a trading view it would lurk with alert with a pop-up normally and we're going to connect that to webhooks uh, so that we get our trades uh, sent directly to the webhook of uh, Bay, uh, Bybit so I'm going to click over here and click these three dots in the corner over here and we're going to add add alert. We're going to make sure that it is the condition is the right condition which is the name of the trading strategy. Then we're going to use the order of uh, order fields only. Uh, we need the URL that I was talking about on the David Tech website. So we go back over to David Tech website over here. We're going to go over to the bot connector David Tech strategies here. And then we're going to click, copy the webhook URL. We click on that and that will also uh, the copy to your copy board. And also we'll just go over here and we will paste that just like that. And that will now connect our trading strategy to, uh, to uh, Bybit. So now we give it a name. And the final step is to remove all of this. Click this question mark in the corner. Scroll down a little bit until you find uh, strategy dot order dot alert underscore message we're going to copy that as it is just like that there oops i pressed the wrong button there sorry about that uh, copy and we have to go back here and click that and then we're going to go over to here in the message which we just deleted and we're going to paste that there with Control v or command v off your keyboard we press create and that now will create a new uh, link between you and uh, bybit uh, i believe that uh, it, they will show up here within a couple of seconds. There you go. I'm going to pause my old one. I'm going to pull out this window here. You do have to press understand and go back over to your trading view, uh, trading board over here. And we'll be able to see the new entries and exits. Um, there you go. I believe that we just entered directly a new trade automatically. Uh, that was maybe an old trade that I had from another one, is it? not? No, that's correct. Correct. Perfect. So that is right. Uh, we have our stop loss already set. We have our limit uh, take profits. Uh, and as you can see, we're moving towards the stop loss at the moment. So we'll leave it to run while we're going to have a look at trading view uh, to Discord, uh, the Discord bot. Now what I'm going to do is if you'll just give me a couple of seconds, I will share my iPad uh, so that you'll be able to see the message that you get directly from uh, from Discord. So if I go over to Discord on my iPad here. 
just on Discord at the moment. You'll be able to see it behind my screen. Uh, okay, now if I go over here and share my screen with my iMac, I need to accept that up there. Okay, that's great. Right, okay, as you can see, here's the log. You can see that I have uh, my trading log uh, with accepted uh, orders. I've recently exited one, and as you can see, you get all of the information sent to you directly uh, from the David Tech bot. So that's perfect, uh, wonderful. Uh, that's <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. Uh, if you bear with me a couple of seconds, maybe this will hit the stop loss and we get a new trade. If not, I will leave you and if there's no questions, I'll leave you to it. Uh, let's just give it a couple of seconds to see what happens with this trade. I'll just see if we have any questions in the question board over here. Okay, I guess. Ah, there we go. We just hit the stop loss which is perfect. Uh, now we have to wait, I think it's about 30 seconds. So they're gonna stay here for 30 seconds to watch this trade, the next trade enter. So as you can see, as we've hit the stop loss, we've uh, been exited. I would have received a, I've received a message saying that they tried to exit the trade, but the stop loss was already hit obviously on Bybit. Uh, not to worry, it's uh, about uh, the, because it receives a, a, a fail safe on uh, trading views uh, alerts, it's just making sure that everything's uh, exited correctly. So I'm just gonna leave this for a couple of seconds. I hope you can see. Hopefully we will exit this trade in a couple of seconds. Okay, and there you go. We've just entered another trade. Perfect. So as you can see, we've entered a trade. The stop loss has been added. The uh, take profit has been added. We have our entry. Uh, everything's absolutely perfect. Worked perfect. It was very fast. I received the message directly on Discord at the same time. Uh, yep, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much everything as far as I can uh, see. If you do have any questions, like I said, I'm always in Discord. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. And that was how to set up the David Tech bot. Have a great day, everybody. Something's happened to my TV behind. But anyway, have a great day. Take care. And I will see you on uh, Monday with a new video. Take care. Bye-bye.